clean video effects can be the difference between a good looking video and a really good looking video. And people are cranking these videos out left and right. And it's not because they are better than you. It's just maybe the fact that they have some presets. So this is the free training video for my absolutely free preset pack, the Creators Presets 2.0 with more organization and more effects. I've been video editing for years and that all started when I was 14. We had this clothing brand until I was 16, it was skateboarding. And now I'm spilling the beans because I really do feel like editing is a valuable skill and I want you to be able to have that skill without having to pay a ton of money for it. So in this training video, you're gonna learn exactly what's in the creator preset pack and how I use it to level up my content and make it look super crispy. The link will be in the description of this video on markjeromero.store. Go ahead and get yourself it for absolutely free. This pack doesn't come with a lot of transitions and it doesn't come with movement. If you want a lot of movements, check out my super epic movements presets pack. It also has a free training. I'm gonna link the video right here. This pack is more focused around the special effects that enhance the video. So say it's a shine effect, say it's a chill transition of face cam, or just a different kind of background. That's what we're gonna be covering today. The timestamps are down below. Let's get right into the juicy meat. To import your presets, hit this little icon called the hamburger menu in your effects panel. Click import presets and then choose the preset pack. And there you go. You're gonna see the whole thing pop up on your screen, Dion Solo, just like that. You're gonna see a whopping 14 different folders. I'm not gonna be going over each and every transition because that would take a very long time. I'm going to move through these folders as quickly as possible. Folder number one is gonna be the audio effect. And what I wanna emphasize here is the mid frequencies cut effect and the headphone muffle effect. We put the mid frequencies cut on the music that plays behind our video. This is because we're keeping the highs and we're keeping the low frequencies. We're cutting out the middle so that our voice can go here because our voice naturally rests in the mid tones. So here's a quick example with it on. And then here's a quick example with it off. So here's a quick example with it on. And then here's a quick example with it off. And then the muffled headphones effect gives you that super desired underwater effect. And I also like to put this underwater effect on a lot of my sound effects so that they sound more far away and it gives it a different vibe. Folder number two are the backgrounds. Things like making your video black and blurry so that you can put text on the screen and simpler versions too, like just making it dark or just making it blurry. Also for your short form content where the background is big, black and blurry. And then you just have the normal video on top of that. I also add a drop shadow to the top video when I'm doing this. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at my down. down. Look at my down. Look at my down. When looking at these names, in means that it's gonna animate into the background. Constant means that you just drag and drop this and then it's gonna constantly play throughout the whole video. And in and outs means that the background animates in and then it comes back out. These are super useful when something is popping up on the screen really quickly and you wanna direct the viewer's attention to the pop-up. And the way I do this is I add an adjustment layer and then I put the black blurry in and out on that adjustment. Layer. And remember, all of these presets have the keyframes that you can manually switch up. If the in and out doesn't end exactly where you want, you can either extend it or make it shorter. And that goes for all of these presets. You can adjust them how you like and then save them as a preset by selecting the effect, right clicking it, and then hitting save as preset, pin it either to the beginning, to the end, or have it scale throughout. Folder number three, the blurs only has one effect and that's the frame blur. So I drag and I drop this onto my cinematic frames when I want there to be a little more extra depth. Folder number four is the juicy CRT effects. So this is gonna make any of your B-roll look like it's playing on an old TV or something like that. Super aesthetic, I highly recommend. Folder number five are the drop shadows. So you drag and drop one of these on and then it gives a video or a photo a thick, juicy drop shadow. Folder number six are the edges. So you can give your B-roll, photo, video, blurry edges, you can give it round edges, or you can give it round edges with a drop shadow. Little details like this really make the video pop. Folder number seven are the face cams. So just drag and drop it onto any video, and then it gives you this circle face cam like you're playing a video game. Oh, what am I playing? What am I playing? Probably Borderlands 2. Then folder number eight are the flashes for some quick 
on-screen lighting effects. I'm saying folder, folder so much. I feel like I'm on the first day of school. We're almost done. So let's keep it rolling. Folder number nine are the glows. So duplicate your text, add screen to the top and add the glow blur at the bottom. And then you have this glowing effect. Folder number 10 are the juicy, juicy LUTs. I record my videos in S-Log3. Team Sony stand up if you're team Canon and all of that then these LUTs might not work for you, but I would still try it. Basically, I just drag and drop these onto any video, and then it gives me this cinematic, juicy look. Folder number 11, say it with me now. Folder 11. Folder 11. These are for revealing and erasing text. So you can add a little bit of a sound effect, and then it looks like, looks like I'm writing on the screen, or I'm erasing my text. Then folder number 12 are the shines super aesthetic you can make any photo or any video shine fast slow it's up to you just add the shine effect on and i recommend getting the anime shine sound effect from my free sound effects pack and making this come to life like that folder number 13 are the vignettes so this is going to add a black blurry vignette around your video and if you want to focus in on a certain part of the video say i want to focus in on that picture frame right there I can go ahead and get the focus circle vignette. I can either go in, I can go out or in and out. And then what I do is I adjust the mask to whichever part that I want to focus in on. James is here, he's in the vid, and we're gonna do folder 14 together. Folder 13 are the transitions. So there's a vertical swipe transition, there's a horizontal swipe transition, and there's one with a blur. So get an adjustment layer, put them in between two different clips, and then put your transition in there. And then it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna put Cheems down. And then you did it. You made it through all 14 levels, all 14 folders, but now you're probably looking for some sound effects to bring these things to life. So if you wanna check out my free sound effects pack and the free training, go ahead and click this video right here. I'll see you, peace out, God bless you. Have a good day.